Hey there! Welcome to Power BI Week! I'm so glad to have you here with me in the second edition of this event in English. Our first practical session is gonna be Monday at 3 p.m. UTC, and I'm looking forward to teach you everything I know about creating amazing dashboards with Power BI. But before we jump into the first lesson, I need to prepare you to the event. So, in this video, I'm gonna present everything you must know to arrive fully prepared to this journey. I'm gonna show you what Power BI is, how you can install it, what you're gonna learn in this week, and also what you can achieve in your career when you learn Power BI. So, do not skip this video. Watch it full, because it is a must for you to get the most out of Power BI. All right? First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Leonardo Karpinski, I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer from Brazil, and I have more than 20,000 students from all around the world. I've been teaching Power BI since 2017, and I participated in project as a consultant for huge global companies. And then I gathered all this knowledge during these five years and transformed into a step-by-step -step teaching process. So you don't have to spend years to learn and master Power BI as I had. In just a few months, you'll be able to work in projects you never thought possible before. Now, let me ask you a simple question and right after this video, I want you to answer me in the comments below, okay? So, have you ever created reports before? Let me give you three options. First, no, I have never created reports before. Two, yes, I have already created reports in Excel. Or three, yes, I have already created dashboards in Power BI. Actually, it doesn't matter if you are an expert in Power BI or if you are hearing this term for the first time because everyone will benefit from this week. I'm gonna show you how you can turn a spreadsheet like this into an impressive dashboard like this by applying advanced techniques for data preparation, data modeling, calculations, and also, of course, data visualization. So, you will learn not only how to create stunning dashboards, but also the key concepts for solving real business problems in any areas as in real life. And also, after we finish our dashboard, I'm gonna show you how to publish to the web so others can view your solution. And the great news is that all of this is for free. You don't have to pay anything. I'll give you all the necessary materials for you to replicate the same solution I just showed. You already can download them right below in this page. Don't worry if you don't understand some of the materials, because I'm gonna explain everything to you starting on Monday. You'll be amazed by knowing how easy and fast you can build your first dashboard after watching the practical lessons. Be patient and trust me. Oh, and by the way, if you have never created reports before, congratulations on being here. You're starting a very promising career. And after Monday, you'll be able to present your company data on interactive dashboards as well. So, I wanted to imagine this. Visualize this moment. You presenting a report in a dashboard like this one in your company. How great would that be? Again, if you're just starting, this is a great opportunity for you to make a difference in the market and start doing what others don't do. Because Power BI today is still something new and there are much more places to work with Power BI than good professionals. So take this opportunity seriously and start right now. Okay, now let me take a step back and explain to you what Power BI is. Shall we? Power BI is an incredible business intelligence tool from Microsoft for transforming data from various sources into interactive dashboards and analysis reports. These dashboards and reports help companies to gain insights from data and answer business questions very quickly. I bet you have already heard some buzzwords like data analytics or business ana analytics, data science, big data, or machine learning, and so on. They all have one single goal in common, to help companies solve problems with data. So this week, we'll prepare you to become a desired profession in the market, because every single company today needs to use data to be competitive. So don't worry about all these other terms right now. The best and easier way to start in this area is using Power BI. Because the great thing about Power BI is that it's a self-service tool, which means anyone can learn and use it to build their own reports. You don't need 
any prior technical knowledge to learn it, and you don't need to be an IT guy. Power BI is for everyone. Yeah, everyone. But I already use Excel, so why should I choose Power BI? Okay, so first of all, Excel is a report-based tool. It's simple to use, but you end up doing too many copy and paste techniques. Imagine you have to update your report every single day. You get in your office and start extracting the new data from your system, from your ERP. Then you perform all those transformation steps and calculations, repeating the same operations over and over again. This way, you spend more time creating and updating reports than analyzing them, which should be your main activity. In this process, you don't have chances to improve your work and it seems that you are always working a lot. But actually, you are working the wrong way. Not to mention when you need to share the report with your colleagues. You probably create a PowerPoint presentation or you send the Excel file right to them. Right? Yeah, I know. That sucks. If you find yourself in this situation, don't worry, because this week we'll provide you with all the weapons you need to overcome this and start working smart. This is because Power BI is a model-based tool, which you can create reports on top of a data model. So once you define the model, you can build different reports with the same data. And these reports can be presented and shared through the web in a much more convenient way. You will never again have to waste time on manual work refreshing your data. This is best. Forget about it. Now with Power BI, all your transformations, calculations, and data refreshes will be fully automated. This way, you become much, but much more productive. And you have more time to do things that really matter and that will make you stand out in the market. Now, from an analysis perspective, Power BI offers so many advantages over Excel that I could spend hours and hours talking about them. But just to mention some of them, let's go. All visuals in Power BI are dynamic and interactive, which facilitates the analysis and turn decision-making faster. Performance is much better over Excel. You can use advanced visualization features such as drill down, tooltips, bookmarks, smart narratives to explain the events in text, and so on. You also get visuals with built-in artificial intelligence, such as the key influencers and the decomposition tree visual. And much, much more that I'm gonna cover during Power BI Week. Wow, that sounds great. So how can I start? Your journey to build those interactive dashboards is gonna start with Power BI Desktop, which is totally free and you can download right now in the Power BI website. It is important to note that Power BI Desktop can be installed only on Windows. So if you have a Mac, you need to install a Windows Virtual Machine on your Mac. There are some videos on YouTube to show you how to do that. Now, to understand what's the process for creating dashboards with Power BI, and also to understand what Power BI can do for you, let me introduce the seven pillars for a BI project. Number one, extract. First, you need to extract data from somewhere, right? And Power BI can import data from any source. When I say from any source, I really mean that. Power BI can easily handle everything from just a simple Excel file all the way to massive data amounts in the most diverse data types as SQL Server, Oracle, Amazon, Google BigQuery, Dynamics, Salesforce, Web Connections, and hundreds of others. Pillar number two, transform. After connecting your data to Power BI, you may need to transform it and put in the right shape. Usually, data comes messy and dirty, so in Power BI, you can easily clean and structure your data with an incredible tool called Power Query. Forget about manual operations in Excel. Power Query will automate all your transformation steps with the click of the mouse for a lot of different actions. The third pillar is the modeling phase. Have you ever tried to compare data from two or maybe more tables? I bet it was not easy, right? You probably use some VLOOKUPs in Excel, or maybe you had to join tables manually. Here in Power BI, you'll be able to leverage the relationships across tables, which will make your life much easier when you need to compare, for example, sales versus budget. 
On step number four, we have the calculation phase. Here's where you can use the DAX language inside of Power BI to make your calculations, your comparisons. As for example, the percentage of customers that bought this week, or maybe the sales growth over the months, and so on. If you are familiar with the basic functions in Excel, as sum, if, average, then you see that the DAX language is very similar. And now, the step that makes your work shine, the visualization phase. After you have your data modeled and shaped correctly, you're gonna wanna build your amazing dashboard. Building the visuals is easy as dragging and dropping fields to the screen. There are a lot of visuals you can choose from, and also there are visuals with built-in artificial intelligence. So you can answer your most complex business questions without having to write any piece of code. In step number six, it is time to share your awesome dashboard. Once everything is done, you're gonna publish the report to the web and share it with others so users can consume your awesome dashboard. For this, you're gonna need a Power BI license, but it can be a free one for now. And in the last step, the automation phase. Okay, then to finish the job and to be able to refresh our data, we're gonna automate everything by scheduling the data refreshes. Once your data changes in the data source, Power BI will be able to automatically grab the data to show on your published reports. And you can choose up to eight times a day for Power BI to refresh the data automatically. Now you can say goodbye to manual updates and you have real time to analyze data and help companies in a more strategic way. If all of this seems a lot for you, don't worry. I promise you that after Monday, Power BI will be your best friend. Be confident. Okay, I like this, but I bet Power BI works only for sales and finance, right? Wrong, wrong. You can use Power BI for any areas. There are no restrictions for using Power BI at all. If you have data from any source and in any size, then you can and you should use Power BI to transform this data into a dashboard that will help you take better decisions. To finish, let me show you what we're gonna create during the Power BI Week event. And also, I wanna show you some examples of dashboards for the most diverse areas. Come with me. So this is the dashboard we're gonna create using the database you can download right below this video, okay? So a sales dashboard that we can change, for example, from light to a dark background. We can change pages right here. So we're gonna build this sales people ranking as well, okay? And everything is interactive. Let me go back here so you can see that when I filter, for example, here, quarter one, all other visuals are filtered as well. Very nice. Very easy and fast to gain insights, to find insights here and to make your decision better and faster. All right? This is what we're gonna build. Let me show you now visuals and dashboards for other areas. Here we have a personal management for human resources with employees, hires, resignations, and so on. For example, if I wanna see all my hirings, let me click there, and here you have all information about this KPI. I can go back there, I can make filters right here, right, right, right here. Also resignations, there you go. I click there, we're gonna see information for resignations only. Very nice, human resources, okay? This one is sales as well, but what I wanna show you here is the following. I'm gonna explain for you how to create this filter, which is hidden. And then I make my filters right there. I can close. And this filter pane does not occupy space here in our dashboard. Next, sales performance. We can, we can track here sales by country in a map, for example, like this. We can change from a map to a bar chart. Very nice. Finance, financial dashboard with cash flow statement in the second page. Let me go there. Okay, cash flow statement, there you go. I can change, for example, from issue date to due date. 
like this very quickly as well let's go to a logistic logistics dashboard freight revenue gross revenue deliveries weight goods value and so on we can track our freight here okay fleet management let's go to fleet costs i can change pages with these buttons i can see my total costs with my with my trucks and so on let's change now to another one here i have sales versus target let's go to the second page we can also make this type of analysis what if analysis with this simulator let's suppose our product unit price goes up in 10 percent my target my revenue is 82 percent of my target we should actually increase our product price so i can overcome my target here is the decomposition tree visual that uses artificial intelligence we're gonna see this as well during our week another financial dashboard with this button here that shines when i click there i can go to our to our results and i have here also in um, income statement all right let's go to another one for tracking our OTIF on time in full KPI for logistics as well orders delivered we can track here if we are delivering our orders on time and in a correct way another one production okay for engineers for tracking our overall equipment effectiveness very important KPI for production and look at this how we can change pages as well let's track our all hours hours of work here's our production okay our productive hours let's go to produ productivity our last tab there you go everything as well interactive click on there our visuals are filtered next one this is from our first Power BI week event we did this revenue and margin analysis dashboard okay we built this together in the past event let me show you this simulator we built we built together financial simulator so you can track for example what happens when our product cost goes up okay we have we don't have of course we don't have uh, profit but if I sell more and also my unit price goes up as well then I have profit and we did this in this blue dark in this blue back background also in a light background okay and in this dark one as well so in this week you're gonna learn how to do this type of work creating dashboards in any areas, in any kind, with the design you want, okay? So you can apply for your company. So I'm looking forward to see you on Monday. Don't forget to answer the question that I asked in the beginning of this video. Comment below if you have already worked or not with Power BI, Excel, and so on. And tell me also how excited you are to start Power BI Week. See you there.